We want to get back to that brazen jewelry burglary in Stockton early this morning. It's not just the burglary, but the way it's being done that's so stunning. ABC 10's Kurt Rivera shows us tonight. North El Dorado Street in Stockton, 3.45 a.m. Four cars slowly enter the parking lot. Moments later, one of the cars backs up and slams into the front of the Kim Hone jewelry store. They use the car, they ram it back and forth, back and forth. The jewelry store owner, who wanted his identity concealed, shared his security video with us. In five minutes, what appears to be about seven or eight men dressed in hoodies with most of their faces concealed, pull open the metal sliding gate and break inside. They swarm the store, grabbing anything they can. They take some of uh, the, the stuff that we left out, like the chain, bangle, like um, not, not really much. He says expensive items were not on display. In just five minutes, the brazen burglars leave. At 4 a.m., just 10 minutes later, Stockton police officers arrive, just missing the jewelry thieves. But this isn't the only Asian jewelry store recently burglarized. Another one was burglarized as well. On April 10th, just over a mile away, also on North El Dorado Street, the King's Jewelry Store fell victim to burglars. It was just before 3.30 a.m. A car was also used to smash into the storefront. Photos released by Stockton Police show a group of men dressed in hoodies smashing and grabbing what they can inside, very similar to what happened at the Kim Hone Jewelry Store. That store's owner says he won't be open for up to a month until repairs are made. We cannot uh, make on time with the customer. Yeah, they order and we cannot make it on time because of this. Kurt Rivera reporting there now in tonight.